Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mod Monday. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool mod called Light Bridges and Doors. And we're going to actually use Light Bridges and Doors to get to that tower over in the distance behind me. Over my right shoulder. So, Light Bridges and Doors is a really cool mod. I love it. And I wish that this was in more tech packs. You know, like, be the beast on hinge, technique and tech it. They, they don't you do that. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna take a rail over there. But how are we gonna get over there? The rail just falls down. Well, thankfully, we have light rails. Yes, light rails. These things will allow you to make a railway over a gap, which is pretty cool. Not very many mods do that. The only mod I can think of that does that off the top of my head is Railcraft, but that has a limit. These things have a more generous limit as to how far they can go. Do, do, do. Now, the light rails don't really accelerate your rail carts at all, so if you're going to be using them, you are going to need some boosters along the way. Let me out. Let me out a cart. I can't get out of my cart. Now this is an awkward problem. Um, I'm stuck. Thankfully, there was lava down below, so I'm free again. <clears throat> well, that is a weird problem, and I don't know what caused that. Just let me fix that up a bit. I've never had that problem before of not being able to get out of my minecart. Now let's get back to survival mode. Alright, so this next part is making a light bridge. Which is pretty cool. Now, these things are indestructible to your normal fists. In fact, I don't think that anything can break them. Well, almost nothing. There's a demonstration I will do in a little bit, which will show... Something kind of strange about this mod. We'll get there in a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next part is a gravity lift. And the gravity lift basically does what you think it would do. It lifts you. If it kept the value I put in. Not that one. There we go. And the last part of this is momentarily broken. Let me fix it. Alright, now it's fixed. That's the site that was supposed to be there when we got up here. <laughs> Dang creepers all despawned in like less than two minutes. But yes, yeah, so it keeps mobs out. That is a light door. They keep mobs out so you don't need to worry about them coming near you. As long as no one steps on this pressure plate stupidly, the creepers will stay on that side of the door just peachy keen. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist it. I like my creeper buddies. They're always making me explode and stuff. So, let's get on with actually talking about more of the mod and showing you how to craft some of these cool, wonderful things. Well, in order to craft them, the light bridge is going to require some redstone, glowstone dust, iron ingots, and a diamond. And you get two light bridges each. Now, light bridges are only able to be placed on the side of blocks. Now, they will send out a light beam when given a redstone signal, 
a fairly generous distance. I believe it is close to 50 blocks. And in creative mode you can actually break these things, which doesn't really do much, I mean, other than leave these things here. when you turn off the signal. Minor problem, but, you know, easy fix. You can just turn it back on and off again and it'll reconnect and destroy itself. Next, we have light doors, which are much simpler to make than a light bridge. Basically, you just need, a, need less redstone and glowstone and you can make two light doors. Then we have the gravity lift which uses purple dye, iron ingots, and an ender pearl, and that will give you one gravity lift. And the last thing that you can make is a light rail, which requires glowstone dust, a diamond, iron ingots, and a detector rail. So all these recipes are fairly simple to make, not very hard at all. Which I do have a small problem with because they are pretty damn useful, although in a limited way, so I guess it's not too big an issue. The light rails, however, are kind of an issue, I mean, with a simple redstone signal and six iron ingots and a diamond, some glowstone dust, you can make a really, really long railway for very, very cheap in comparison to how much iron it would take to make a railway that typical way. Anyway, moving on to this interesting thing I found out about these light doors. You can go ahead and beam some down and if you take some TNT and activate it near these doors, you are actually able to recover these light door sections. Which means you can set them down wherever you want, although they will only go in certain directions. But you are basically given a near indestructible wall. Because in normal creative, in normal survival mode, you cannot break these things with your fists. And the only thing I have tried is using a pickaxe. Yeah, you can't break it with a pickaxe either. So these things are indestructible. Which means you can have an indestructible wall wherever you want that you can see through. Hey, hey, hey. Hi there. Until a creeper comes and blows it up, that is. So, that was the Light Bridges and Light Doors mod. If you want to check out this mod yourself, you can get the link to the download page in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.